So I just wanted to mention a quick point. Did you know anytime you divide, you create a fraction? Division, fractions. A fraction is a setup for a division. Surprise! So, division, fraction, same thing, kind of. So if I had 10 divided by 4, I can actually write that as a fraction, 10 over 4, which can simplify into 5 over 2. When I reduce by 2, this type of fraction is called a, it's called an improper fraction. It's called an improper fraction. 5 over 2, it's improper because, because why? So division can be transformed using the dividend as the numerator. The dividend is this guy. And the divisor as the denominator. The divisor is this guy. And we can end up with proper or improper fractions. So that's just one thing I wanted you to know for this video, but it's kind of short. So let me just tell you something else and I'll give you a little quiz on this. As I said before, you have three types of fractions. Well, really two types, really. Two types, the proper and improper. So proper is a situation like three quarter. Improper would be a situation like four over three. And the, the only difference is that in an improper fraction, the numerator is greater than the denominator. It's top heavy. It's big on the top, improper. In a proper fraction, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. It's, it's good. It looks, it looks good. These, these are less than one, less than one, a part of a whole. Improper fraction can be broken down into a whole and a fraction or some degree of whole, some number of holes. And a like, for example, we can switch this improper fraction into one and one third. And how do we do this? As you see, three can go into four. One time remainder one. Let's just do one more. If I had 11 divided by mm, five, five can go into 11 two times with a remainder of one and we put the remainder over the divisor. And if I want to go back from a mixed number, two and one fifth was my answer. If I want to go backwards, I need to multiply now. So I'll say five times two is the 10. And I keep that 10 in my mind. And the 10 not, must now see a 1 added to it. So it's 10 plus 1 makes 11 out of 5. It's like you do the reverse to switch back. But you know all of this already because you have been paying attention in your classes and you will see some quizzes coming on this. And in the live class, we will test it a little further. Love and blessings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages.